In this video, we're going to learn all about the balance sheet. And if you want to understand the balance sheet, you need to understand three terms. You need to understand assets, you'll need to understand liabilities, and the third term is probably the trickiest. We're going to learn all about shareholders equity. And this is also sometimes called owner's equity. So when we talk about assets, normally students have a pretty good idea about the word assets before I even give a definition. In fact, I often ask students, give me an example of an asset that you have. And uh, you know, the examples they come up with are things like maybe they have a nice set of headphones, uh, perhaps some of them own a car, which is beginning to look suspiciously like my headphones, uh, or maybe their textbooks would be examples of assets. These are all, I think, pretty reasonable assets. And these are common examples I get given in my class, and they're, they're good examples. Um, what I'd like to look for is the common theme here, because I, I do think these are assets. And the theme is they're all things of value, right? They're all things that if, if you had the option, if somebody would give it to you, you would like to own. You would like to have this thing. And so, again, the common thread there is value. There's some economic benefit to owning this stuff. And uh, if you want to get a technical accounting definition of asset, uh, the phrase you'll hear is future economic benefit. So it's anything the company owns or controls that gives them a future economic benefit. But you can think of it as the stuff the company owns or controls that's good to own or control. So for a person, that might be headphones or a cell phone or a car. For a company, much the same, but they would, uh, you know, common examples we would see in a company would be things like cash in the bank. That's a very key asset. Uh, inventory, if you're a company like Walmart that sells stuff, all when we walk around the floor and see, you know, socks on a shelf, those socks are Walmart's inventory. That's Walmart's assets. That's stuff they own that's good for them to own. Uh, and last, equipment. And, you know, we could add to that land and buildings and these types of things. These are all assets of a company. So again, assets, it's really important to understand what we mean when we say assets. It's anything a company owns or controls that is good to own or control. And just like assets of a person are the things a person owns or controls that they should want to own or control. Moving over to uh, liabilities, now that we've got assets done, uh, liabilities, if I think of one word, if my one word for asset is value, stuff that we value, liabilities, the word I think of is owe. Liabilities are owed. So think of the things in your life that you might owe. You might uh, have a phone bill sitting on unpaid on your kitchen counter, as I do right now, and that would be a liability. An unpaid bill is a liability. You might have a, a student loan. That is a liability. That is something that you owe. In the case of a company, if they have a phone bill that's unpaid, there's, a, there's sort of a broad category that they would call that. That would be called an account payable. So they have more than one type of bill, so we call it accounts payable. Uh, they might also, they wouldn't have student loans, but there's a good chance they would have bank loans, and certainly those are all types of liabilities. And, you know, the list could go on. They could have mortgages or bonds, all sorts of other ways of, of getting into debt. Um, but, you know, the, the key ones are accounts payable, just the day-to-day -day bills, and then loans, the longer-term uh, bills that they have to pay back. So my keyword for assets is value. The stuff a company owns or controls, that's good to own or control. Liabilities, the stuff a company owes, the stuff a company has to pay back. On to the third one, and I pumped it up. I said this was the trickiest of the three, and I do think it is shareholders' equity. So what is shareholders' equity? Actually, the easiest way to explain this is to talk about my house. I bought a house, and a house is an asset, right? It's something that I own, that I should like to own, that I value. And when I bought it, I, I, it was $300,000. It was a $300,000 house. So I have this asset, and it's worth three hundred grand. Um, now, I am not a rich man. I did not have $300,000 when I went to buy my house. And so I did what most people do when they buy a house. 
I got a loan from the bank and the loan was called a mortgage, right? The more uh, the when you buy a house, you, you typically get a mortgage loan. And uh, so this is a liability. This is a debt and it's a 250 K uh, 250,000. The K just means thousand two hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan. So my question to you is how much of this house do I really own? How much of the house is mine? What is my equity in this house? Well, if I took the house today and I was able to sell it for $300,000, I pay off the $250,000 of debt, how much of that money lands in my pocket? And the answer is $50,000, right? 300 minus 250, I take the $300,000 of assets, I turn that into cash, I pay off the, the mortgage, uh, the 250 grand, how much money goes into my pocket? $50,000. That is my equity in the house. And so in a company, we have shareholders equity. In a house, we have home equity or, uh, yeah, home equity. Um, so this introduces a very fundamental concept in accounting, and it's fundamental to the balance sheet because it's what makes the balance sheet balance, this relationship. My assets will always be equal to my liabilities plus my shareholders' equity. A equals L plus SE, assets equals liabilities plus shareholders' equity. So you can see I've got $300,000 in assets. If I add my liabilities and shareholders' equity together, I get $300,000, and those amounts do indeed match. Assets equals liabilities plus shareholders' equity. So when I think about shareholders' equity, it's kind of a funny one to define. I don't have a simple one word like assets, the things we value, things we should want to own or control, uh, liabilities, the things we owe. When I think about shareholders' equity, I actually think about them in terms of what they're not. It's what's left over. If I sold all my assets, I paid all my debts, how much money am I walking away with? If I took all my company's assets, I paid off all my company's debts, how much money does a shareholder walk away with? The two common accounts here that, that are most frequently used are common shares, and these are to record when a, an investor purchases a share. Of course, their piece of the company gets bigger, their piece of the pie gets bigger, so their equity gets bigger. And retained earnings. And retained earnings is an account that keeps track of the company's profits, because when a company's profitable, the uh, shareholders benefit, right? The shareholders' equity gets bigger. So. We'll probably spend a lot more time talking about retained earnings and common shares, and they'll get their own videos in the future. But for now, just know common shares are when a, uh, a shareholder invests in the company, they purchase common shares and their equity grows. Retained earnings are when the company makes profit and doesn't pay it out in the form of dividends. So three terms. These are three fundamental terms to understanding the balance sheet asset, the things a company owns or controls that benefit the company, uh, the things that the company owns or controls they should want to own or control, liabilities, this is what the company owes that they'll have to pay back, shareholders equity, this is the shareholders piece of the pie, if you sold off all the assets, you paid off all the debts, how much money would go into the shareholders pocket, that is their equity. So let's have a look at a sample balance sheet. So here we have the assets listed on the left, nothing new here, cash, inventory, and equipment. The total assets there are $80,000. On the right, we've got our liabilities of 30, and our shareholders' equity here, the total is 50. So if I add my liabilities, 30, plus my shareholders' equity, 50, I get total liabilities and shareholders' equity of 80, and you can see my assets my total assets equals my total liabilities plus my shareholder's equity. This relationship is fundamental to accounting. And the balance sheet is useful not just because we learn that assets equals liabilities plus shareholder's equity, but if you're looking at a company's balance sheet, you can understand a lot about what's going on. You can see, oh, this is the stuff the company has uh, on the asset side. This is what the company has on the liability side. You can see the debts of a company and what they're going to have to pay back. I'd encourage you to look up your favorite company on the internet and see their balance sheet. If you just search for your favorite company, a Microsoft balance sheet or Toyota balance sheet, you can learn a lot about what a company has and what they've got to pay back. So I hope this video has been useful to you in better understanding 
the balance sheet.